The double use of evidence. This fallacy is when someone uses a piece of evidence twice in different ways. An example of this would be to say that three out of every 10 children skin their knees when they first learn to ride a bicycle. So now we have that piece of evidence. Now, if somebody then said, and you said, well, it still doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal to me. And then their response was, well, let me tell you about a little girl named Sally. Sally was just ready to have a great time with her family out riding a bicycle. She wanted to learn. She was excited. She got onto the bicycle, big smile on her face, wearing her brand new shirt. And she rode for only about 10 feet before she crashed, skinning her elbow. And it was just, she was crying. The family was sad. It could have been such a great day. Okay, now, of course, you're catching on that I have also used the emotion there, that, that <laughs> the, the emotion fallacy. But even putting that aside, this little girl, Sally, she is part of the three out of ten that skin their knees. So I can either give the statistics, the general bit of information that includes her, or I can give her story that's very emotional. I can give that anecdotal evidence, but I should not give both. If I do, I'm doubling up on that same incident that happened to Sally on that one day. And that is not fair. It's up to you to catch that in the conversation because many people try to slip this in. This is very common during the panic of 2020 and 2021 in which governments worldwide are trying to get everyone to take vaccines and they're trying to talk about how scary this or that virus or variant is and the logical thinker should really watch out for the double evidence fallacy.